I'm Jeremy Musser and I'm from Indiana University, just starting my PhD program uh, in Intelligent Systems Engineering. Yeah, I'm Hensley from uh, University of Benin, Nigeria, that is Africa, West Africa, precisely. Okay, so my name is uh, Michał Naskrant, uh, I'm from University of uh, Wrocław in Poland. And I'm here because uh, I love the opportunity that are presented here. Um, I came here last year and had a ton of fun. So, um, like Ezra Kissel, my advisor, is uh, a major uh, component of the DevOps program here. And uh, he had recommended that I come. And I just had a blast last year. So, you've been really working on this longer than you've just been here right you've been yeah. working on this for months tell us tell us about that yeah so for DevOps we do a lot of work on setting up the database making sure that all of the systems are in place for all of the other teams to do their job as efficiently as possible once the time comes to actually set up everything down here what why would you spend so much time doing something like this as a volunteer well, part of it is because this is what I love doing as my major. I mean, this is, I am a PhD student because I love doing this. But a bigger, I would say a bigger part of it is that I think that this is genuinely important. And I think that contributing my time to it is, is, uh, is something worth doing. All right. Do you want to introduce us to this guy? <laughs> I, I can never pronounce your name. It's Hensley. Uh, no, Hensley. Okay. Hensley. 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 Yeah, Hensley. Hensley. So, so who are you and why are you here? Yeah, I'm Hensley from uh, University of Benin, Nigeria. That is Africa, West Africa, precisely. Yeah, um, I've, I've been, um, this is my second time in Sinet now. Okay, last year was my first time, but this is my second time now. The, the, the beautiful thing is Sinet is a good opportunity for you to get professional exposure yeah, back in my university, I'm among the network engineering team that actually manage the campus network. Okay, but you see, the experience you get here is compared to nothing back home. Now, what I, what I, mean, what I mean is this now, you, hype of mass computing is still very much in this embryonic stage in back home. So there's no much infrastructure, no much access to resources. So my, this will be my fourth year in actually volunteering. Now my first experience was, uh, I, I, I was totally dazed because there was nothing to, as in to reference point back home. And so I, in the mental and protege section, I, my mentor told me, you see, you need to identify with your peculiarity because you see, you don't have these things back home, you don't have infrastructures back home. So what, what do you do? So I said, okay, um, I don't have these infrastructures back home. I feel intimidated because these things are so much high tech here. And he said, okay, fine. Start up a group, a special interest group, and then build it up. And CGHPC approved the special interest group in 20, 2015, and we've been building it up. And so sign it coming on top of that makes me like a pro. So now I've taken it back home. Actually, we started so many initiatives because back home, in my university, especially in the physics department where I had some interactions with some of the faculties, some of their computation, sometimes if they want to do it with their laptops, it takes like one month, two months. And so they don't have access to this infrastructure. So we've been actually working on how to explore cyber infrastructures. If we cannot have the, the infrastructures domiciled back home, if we cannot have the physical infrastructures in the, in the university as a premises, but we can explore off-site infrastructures like the cyber infrastructures in Amazon and some other facilities in other universities that are not in Africa but outside. So it's the signed experience actually is giving birth to all this. Signed experience, the volunteering experience is exposing me to so much resources and, and it is quite cool. I wish this were video and we could see the <laughs> smile on your face. You're so excited about yeah. it. So uh, this is four years. Do you think you'll do a fifth? And put much better than I did. <laughs> think you'll do a number five? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I should be able to go more because each year new things is always evolving and each year new new experience and new... In fact, truly speaking, this year I was... I truly, I convinced my director, director of uh, uh, information and ICT, that is, I, we call it ICTU, Information and Communication Technology Unit, I convinced him to come down to U.S. Actually, he said he was going to come, but other administrative responsibility to come. Because I believe if he had come, he would have been able to meet with other, invest other, 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 other persons that we could actually, you know, I'm, an, I'm actually just a technical person. The administrative side, he would have been able to handle this because so getting these resources back home, there is a lot of politics 
and policies that has to go in place. So that is where I wanted him to, to join force with me, but uh, he couldn't make it. So I'm really looking forward to more years so that I could take this thing back home. Bring him with you. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so who are you and why are you here? Okay, so my name is uh, Michał Naskrant. Uh, I'm from University of uh, Wrocław in Poland. And I'm doing my PhD in physics, actually. Uh, this is my second year. And uh, why, am I, why am I here? Uh, there's a number of reasons. Uh, first one will be definitely the, the experience you can gain here, uh, doing a lot of stuff like connected fiber, wireless, and etc. So uh, that that's something that you can really lay your hands on and and gain this this really nice uh, valuable knowledge. So the second thing is uh, people you meet here. So they're they're all very interesting and very different. Uh, I made a lot of friends here uh, from all over the world. That that's a really nice thing. Yeah and uh, that also helps to, to develop something, uh, some new uh, solutions also in physics. So uh, I think that usually interesting things uh, come up on the border of different sciences. So if you try to combine, for example, physics and, and HPC, uh, there might be something nice coming out of it. Yeah. And and also, uh, since it's my fourth year, uh, I also realized uh, how different, uh, how different a style of working style is in the States than in Europe. And it's nice to, to see differences and probably learn something. So what do you see as that big difference being between United States and Europe in terms of working style? Uh, hmm. It's hard to explain it, uh, but, but you have different attitudes to, towards work. Uh, it's kind of uh, more uh, commercialized. And uh, for example, in physics, I've been to a lot of conferences and we never, never had an exhibition. Probably also no one's interested in selling, selling anything to physicists. But uh, yeah, but, but it's uh, more, um, more, a little bit more professional, I think. Yeah. Is, uh, the, all this commercialism is good. It's more professional to have all this stuff that we're uh, seeing here, like at Cynet and SC16. Uh, that's a hard question, but uh, <laughs> I. Or were you saying the opposite? Is more professional in Europe? This is not. No, uh, I was. That that uh, these are two separate things. So okay. one thing is that it's a little bit more professional, I think, and also the style of your presentations and posters. It's, it's more oriented towards results, like you have like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 results. And in Europe, it's like, okay, I just did it and it was nice. So it's a different attitude. You, sometimes in Europe, you, you think that people do something just for fun. And here, they, they're more oriented on some results that you can apply somewhere. You're nodding about that. What oh, are you seeing? No, I was just thinking that the, uh, uh, the American style definitely does have a, a tendency to be a little more results focused than the European style, which does not actually, I don't think that's a judgment on either style. I think that the European style, which focuses more on experimentation and just getting results and not caring so much what the results necessarily are, is a huge, um, uh, hugely important for the development of science in general. Um, I think it's, it's just an I think that Mihail's just made a really interesting point in general. It, more the pure research idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. I think, I think other university calls it the town and the gown. Yeah. This is what we call it. You know, you know you, as a scientist, when you develop something, you should, be, you should have the community in mind that you are going to impact. So I think the issue of America having it more result-oriented is because they have the community in mind where they're going to impact. In our, in, our, in our society back home, we call it the town and gown symposium. So where the town needs to get impact of what the, the gowns are doing, the gowns are the academias. The researchers, okay, now whatever they are doing, there should be a place where it should have it should resonate with the challenges that are in the community. So if if I want if I must interpret what you say as commercialization, I think that is what it is because certainly every scientific uh, innovation should meet a need and it should drive value. And then if it drives value, then there should be economic value that goes along with it. So that is my interpretation of, and it is good because you, see, you shouldn't just do something for fun. 
it should meet the community's needs. The community's needs. It should meet people's. It should solve humanity's problem. Yeah, that is what I think science is all about. So. Yeah. And to bring it full circle, I think that that's a really big thing that's uh, supercomputing lens to the community is that we can bring the scientific applications together with the commercial applications and we can see how these apply, we can apply these scientific principles that we've been researching and developing to commercial applications and see how these can join together, bring yeah, the gown yeah, to the town. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, J.P. Falters was talking about this idea that this is not just uh, this incredible infrastructure for reality, but it's also experimental, it's research-oriented. Um, I agree. I Unfortunately, Mikhail probably will have a better answer for this because I'm more on the commercial side of things. But I, th I do absolutely think that uh, um, supercomputing brings a lot to the table in terms of research. Thoughts about that? Yes, exactly. I think it's... Uh, it's a nice way of combining the, the commercial uh, say attitude and experimental because here you have both and they're really mixing each other with each other. So, so that's what, what's the difference between Europe. You have either commercial or, or just pure research. So that, that's really nice and that, that what I, that's what I meant earlier. This town and gown thing <laughs> works, makes foot sense then. Yeah, yeah, yeah it definitely. <laughs> All right. It does make sense. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to say? Um, I, 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 anybody you want to thank? We, we, should, we should want to really thank. We should really thank yeah. this, the, 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 the Association of Computing Machinery, IEEE, the organizers of the Supercomputing Conference, giving us the organizers of science team. We really want to give them thanks for the opportunity. This is a rare opportunity. You don't just get one place where you have all the international professionals in all the in, from different countries gathered to one place, and you have access to them. That is awesome. It is really awesome. So I really want to give thanks to the Senate community, give thanks to the supercomputer community, give thanks to the management, give thanks to every one of them for especially creating diversity in this science. I mean, in this supercomputer conference. The diversity is what is bringing me from Nigeria. If not for the diversity, I, I'm not sure the doors would have been open to Africa. So I really want to appreciate them for that. I thank them for that. Oh, that's great. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. Thank Super. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah.